the Seattle Seahawks are more than a two touchdown favorite as they take on the Oakland Raiders for this cross conference West Division battle. There's a very good chance that the Oakland Raiders will be 0 and 10 after the next three weeks as they face Seattle, Denver, and San Diego. The Seahawks will finally get a couple of weeks at home as they have spent three of the last four weeks traveling and have not had back to back home games yet. For the sixth time in seven games, the Oakland Raiders have failed to score more than two touchdowns. The Raiders have been held to 14 or fewer points in every game except for week five. It's definitely been a tough ride this season for the Oakland Raiders, with a head coaching change and a rookie quarterback, but the overall lack of talent at the skill positions has made things worse. The Raiders are 32nd in rushing yardage with less than 70 yards per game. There were some signs of growth against the Cleveland Browns as Derek Carr threw for 328 yards to set a new career high, and the Oakland Raiders ran the ball very effectively in the first quarter. That tailed off, however, as the game went on, and the Raiders wound up near their average with 71 rushing yards. The Seattle Seahawks are a flawed team this season. The defense has been more focused on blaming officials for their play, and Russell Wilson's passing attack ranks 30th in the NFL. After averaging 5.6 yards per carry for the first two games of the season, Marshawn Lynch has averaged just 3.95 yards per carry since. The Seahawks are still averaging 5.3 yards per carry as a team, and Russell Wilson's creativity is a big reason why. The Seahawks did get rid of Percy Harvin a couple of weeks ago to help the camaraderie on offense, but the results were not evident against the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers held the Seahawks to just 310 yards and only 119 rushing. Dennis Allen was fired as the Raiders head coach after the team's trip to London following an 0-4 start. Allen was 2-2 against the spread, and since taking over, Tony Sperano is 0-3 straight up and 1-2 against the spread. The Raiders responded in his first game with a 31-28 loss to San Diego, but they've failed to cover in their last two games. Pete Carroll Seahawks are 4-3 straight up and 3-4 and against the spread. The Seahawks come in at 2-1 against the spread at home. There's not a lot of incentive for the Seahawks to blow the Raiders out and their troubles in the secondary with forcing turnovers may allow Oakland to move the ball. There is definitely a flat spot for Seattle coming up and it's hard to see them coming into this game ready to give a maximum effort after some brutal travel. Winless teams play with a lot of desperation and the Seahawks are just interested in moving to 5-3 and three rather than accumulating style points. The Bang the Book Betting Center has everything you need to wager on this game and every other college football or NFL game, including game picks, in-depth stats, the bookies take, and more.